Dear viewers, in this video, we are going to learn some interesting features of ChemDraw which are mostly related to Biochem. As we are moving towards docking studies, I would like to introduce it and meanwhile we will learn some other features of ChemDraw. So first of all, what is molecular docking studies? So I will write here that what is molecular docking studies. interaction now we should know that what is ligand and what is our ligand will be a small molecule like medicine we take our drugs and these molecules interacts with macromolecules so targets will be macromolecules molecules we can draw a small molecule from here I am going to use this template so I am here in many are metric rings and metric rings and in circles and in also we have some alkenes and serious centers cycloalkenes and here we have cycloalkenes so we can add some metal bond structure directly from this template so i am going to use this x as my template that is so this is our small molecule okay now this small molecule will interact with macromolecules these macromolecules may be maybe membrane receptors like here I am going to show you membrane receptors or these may be DNA templates okay or maybe proteins okay so here we have ligand target interaction. So I show you that here we have this small molecule ligand and this enzyme will be the target. So I am going to adjust these structures like this and this. So we can rotate this structure. Let's suppose. Presents membrane receptors like alkene. So this is the macromolecule. This is the small molecule. So here we can control this docking study. And here we can control this docking study. In which we have some kind of interaction or interest. 
now we can select on this here it is our the target interaction okay but before this this ligand target interaction was studied through in vitro screening so before this we were studying in vitro Now, due to computer technology, we have an option of also in silico studies. So, by using computational means, we can also check this ligand target interaction by using different softwares. So, actually, this in silico study is talking study. Actually, this is our docking studies. Okay, so <coughs> in silico studies, in vitro studies, and in vivo studies. In silico studies, we can use we need to check the which side the which side. In, during in vitro studies or inside the lab we study that we can use bio instruments like here like here we are going to make a reaction inside lab and then we are going to analyze it on this instrument and we can also make here some other reactions so these are our in silly in vitro studies so we can check by using different instruments inside the lab and during in vivo studies we study the interaction of these ligands with targets by using animal models like here we are going to use this animal model or uh, which will be preclinical trials or we can use women which will be uh, clinical trials which will be clinical trials okay so we are going to take this bio instrument and this is our syringe and now we are going to inject sample inside this animal okay viewers so now in this way we can draw several structures so it is our ligand target interaction and here we are going to introduce that what is these type of studies 
which may be in silico studies, which may be in vitro studies, or in vivo studies. Okay, so this is in silico study. This is our docking studies in which we are going to screen several molecules and we are going to interact with the active side of the enzyme or macromolecule and we observe that what kind of interactions it, it will be okay, during in silico studies. So now we have these three steps during all these reactions so I'm going to make it here and so these should be four it should be here 